and say we can't afford Joe Biden's COVID relief bill or much of anything else because the budget deficit is out of control. Well, I've got a few ideas for where we can get the money. First, cancel giant, useless military weapons projects. The Air Force just admitted that its notorious F-35 stealth fighter has failed at a cost of $1.7 trillion. That would be enough to house all homeless people in the United States 28 times over. Second, repeal the Trump tax cuts, which is going mainly to the rich and big corporations and is costing $1.9 trillion, coincidentally the cost of the COVID relief bill. Third, tax the wealthy. America's 660 billionaires increased their wealth by $1.3 trillion just since the pandemic began. That's enough to send every person in America $3,800. We can afford to do what's necessary. Have you noticed that for some reason Republicans and Democrats are arguing over whether we should get $1,000 or $1,400? As if either amount is even remotely appropriate while we're facing mass eviction and bankruptcy? Did you know that the actual amount Congress can give every single adult in America right now is $12,352? That's not a made-up number or an exaggeration, and they can do it by reversing a single bill without touching the national debt or any government programs like Medicare or Social Security. Here's how. In 2020, the U.S. saw its worst economic growth since World War II, with record low consumer spending, which accounts for 70% of our GDP. Meanwhile, billionaires alone added $1.3 trillion to their net worth. So speaking of billionaires, remember how Congress just passed a multi trillion dollar tax cut for the ultra wealthy who now because of it for the first time in history pay a lower overall tax rate than the middle class that's 2.289 trillion dollars congress has already approved into the national debt and i can't think of a single goddamn reason not to take that money back and give it to the people who need it divided among 209 million adults that's ten thousand nine hundred fifty two dollars per person plus the existing fourteen hundred dollars bringing our total to twelve thousand three hundred fifty two dollars each millionaires and millionaires don't need a tax cut and you'd have to be an idiot not to understand that a massive influx of money and consumer spending would be unfathomably more effective than just using the money to artificially boost stock prices for companies that are firing all of us anyway the trump campaign paid $3.5 million to the people who stormed the Capitol on January 6th. We know this through two separate ways, and they both come from the permit that the rioters got, which, by the way, they respected institutions enough to get a permit to storm the Capitol. That's just comedy. But at least three people on that permit for the Stop the Steal rally were employed by the Trump campaign through the end of November 2020. Moreover, the company that was on the permit, Event Strategies, received payment from the Trump campaign. What? And that number may be much larger because the campaign routed hundreds of million dollars through shell companies where we don't know the recipient. Yo, can you turn on the garbage disposal real quick? No, wait, wait, wait! Ah! Oh no! I need something! Napkin! Please! Please!